For this next problem, we're going to find all the complex zeros for a polynomial function. Our function f of x is x cubed minus 4x squared plus 25x minus 100. We'd like to start by factoring by grouping. Group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. Out of the first two terms, we can pull out an x squared. So we'll get x squared times x minus 4. And the second two terms here, we can pull out 25. So we'll have plus 25 times x minus 4. Now my two terms have a common factor of x minus 4, which I can pull out. So I get x minus 4 times x squared plus 25. We want to find all the complex zeros for this, so we could set this function equal to 0 and solve. To do this, we're going to set each of these term, or each of these factors equal to 0. So I'll have x minus 4 equals 0 and x squared plus 25 equals 0. Here I'll get x is equal to 4. Here I'll have x squared equals negative 25. This is already solved, so we'll just continue working on this part. To find x, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Don't forget plus or minus. It's going to be plus or minus the square root of negative 25. Now in the real number system, we can't take the square root of a negative, but we are on the complex number system, so we can do this. Remember the square root of negative 1 is i, and so x is equal to plus or minus 5i. So we have three zeros for this polynomial function, and our zeros are x equals 4, x equals negative 5i, and x equals 5i.